welcome to another Jimmy Pyle show. On today's show, we'll be talking to Doris Doherty from East Weems, Fife in Scotland. Doris, welcome to the show. <laughs> Now, you're here today because you believe your now estranged husband, Thomas Doherty, otherwise known as Tam, has been cheating on you with various ladies from his past. And even though he's tried to explain himself on various times, you don't believe him. Aye, but you've missed out the fact that he's a gambler. He's never out, he's, he never out the pub drinking with his pals. He gets food all the time and he never done anything in that who's of mine. In fact, if he's here today, I'm going to get him. Now, Doris, Doris, <laughs> calm down, calm down. I think it's time to get our next guest out. Let's bring Tam to the stage, please. Now, just you wait a minute, Doris. You've got that sore hand. I've been trying to tell you for months, but you'll just no listen. Just wait a minute, new Tam. I'm saying nothing until Daisy comes on this stage because she knows you more than anybody. What have I ever done to you? Nothing! I thought this is what you were meant to do in this show! So take that for a good measure! Uh, Tom, are you alright to continue? Aye, 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 I'm fine. It all started that night, Doris, when we were lying in bed watching who wants to be a millionaire. I asked you if you fancied a wee bit of rumpy pumpy, and you replied, no. So I said, is that your final answer? And you replied, aye. So then I says, can I phone a friend? But I didn't mean it. You didn't mean it? Well, the very next day I seen a wee bit of paper sticking out your pocket with the name Peggy Sue on it. Aye, aye. Aye, well you told me it was your horse you had betted on the week before. Aye, then you barred me to heat my frying pan. Aye, because your horse was on the phone asking for you. Aye. Well, it's a coincidence my horse is the same name as my friend. I caught you cheating on me the only days after you threw me out with my best pal, Roberto. Now it's time to mix things up a bit. Let's get Roberto to the stage, please. <laughs> Let's even things up a bit. Let's bring Eva to the stage, please. You are nothing but a cheating scum of a man. Cheating on me with that fellow, is it? Over there. <laughs> She got that I haven't got. I'm oh, going to kill you. I'm oh. going to kill you. This pair's mother. Ah. Would you like to take a seat? I'm not sitting down and watching my girls getting battered. Ma, ma sit, sit down. <laughs> come on, come on, ma. So what started this? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what started it. 
It was her fault. It was your fault, Eva. Now I've told you before, her Doris is not a floozy, and it was it was it was your man that was in disguise that day. It was him that was cheating. So Tam, it was not Doris that was cheating. It was him. Then, if we had known it was him, we would have run a mile. Aye. Don't you dare call me a more floozy, you Eva. You're nothing but trouble. Trouble, trouble maker. maker everywhere we go. Oh, calm you're down, everyone. Calm back. down, please. Well, we got time to do a lie detector test, and the results of that test, we'll take a look after the break. We're back, and you're watching the Jimmy Pyle Show. We asked Tam the following questions using our 99.9% .9 accurate lie detector test. We asked you first, have you ever fancied or craved another woman other than Doris? You said, yes. Our lie detector said, you were lying. We then asked you if at any time since you've been married to Doris, if you had ever had a relationship with any other woman. You replied, no. The lie detector said, you were lying. Oh, don't have me it. That machine can't read my mind. Relationships. I was a relationship for my ma, my da, my sister. Didn't they mean I'm sleep with them? Your machine s. <laughs> and I've had enough of this. I'm out of here. Please come back, Tam. Please come back. We have a surprise for you. Come and sit down. Come on. Please welcome Heather McSugar. Hello Heather and welcome to the show. You're here to explain to us that you did have an affair with Tam 23 years ago. That was six months after you were married to Doris. Eh, hey, that was decades ago. How am I meant to remember that? <laughs> Let me think about it, Heather. Hey, I bet you inside the chip shop. How's it going, Head? Well, I've been looking for years for you, Tam Doherty, and finally found you through this show. You left me high and dry that night, that party we were at. And I never saw you again. Look at that. If I remember right, it was a one night stand. We never even slept together. It was just an e-traveller up that close next to the wee corner show. I put it to you, Tam, that you did have an affair with Heather that night. And after a quick knee tremble in the passageway, you left her there alone. Oh, no, I never. I made sure she had an organism first. Uh, and how did you know I had an organism? You dropped your chips. <laughs> oh, well, have I got news for you? Can we have Cindy on the stage, please? Cindy, do you mind if I ask you why you have a Tampax behind your ear? <laughs> what the f did I do with my fag? Tam, I have some news for you. This is Cindy, who Heather claims is your daughter. Arita! No way. I've not got a daughter. It's no way. Well, Tam, we did a DNA test. And the results of that DNA test? Let's have a look after the break. Welcome back, folks. We have the results of the DNA tests. And the DNA tests show... Tam, you are not the father. <laughs> but Roberto is! You're a dead man! You're a dead man! Dead man! <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Yoksa ama bayım. Do you two have anything to say? Aye! Where do we go to get paid for all this? And that brings us to yet another end of the Jimmy Pyle Show. Tune in next week when we'll speak to Morag MacArthur and find out how her life dramatically changed when she fell into the gorilla's den at Edinburgh Zoo. From Jimmy Pyle, good night, God bless. <laughs>